Ferrari has very quietly removed Mission Winnow from its team name, the FIA's official entry list marking the change without fanfare. The Philip Morris International Initiative came under fire from its launch at last year's Japanese GP. The logo said to be reminiscent of cigarette brand Marlboro. Australian authorities are also investigating ahead of the first race, though it's not yet known whether there will be more changes to the SF90 or McLaren's car that features a similar British-American tobacco project, A Better Tomorrow. But it's an issue that Australian Grand Prix boss Andrew Westacott expects to be resolved before the prized Victorian state event. Victoria is a pioneer when it comes to um, anti-tobacco legislation and the laws we have here. Um, I expect that uh, there'll be a level of compliance. Alfa Romeo Racing could soon have another famous name on its books, with Mick Schumacher under consideration for an official test. Schumacher, the son of seven-time F1 world champion Michael, is eligible to take part with 30 super license points from winning last year's European F3 title, his first junior series championship. Uh, I have won with a lot of hard work, so sitting behind it, and a lot of hard work, not only from my side, but really the most work came from the team, and I'm really just grateful for, for what they've done. The 19-year-old also fits the in-season test regulation, with two of the four days to be completed by a driver who has had no more than two F1 starts, precluding Alfa Romeo Racing Reserve Marcus Ericsson. We will continue to evaluate the options available and discuss with Ferrari, said team boss Frederick Vasseur. Schumacher is also part of the Ferrari Driver Academy and moves up to F2 this year with Prema. Though for the necessary points for an F1 drive in 2020, he'll need to finish at least sixth in the standings. Former Williams racer Sergei Sorotkin has rejoined Renault as third and reserve driver, with no more seats left on the grid. The Russian showed promise last year, despite scoring just one point to his former teammate Lance Stroll's six, outperforming his car in Monaco, Singapore, and even Brazil, where he got through to Q2. Sorotkin retains his substantial backing from Russian bank SMP and will be joined at Renault by test driver Jack Aitken and development driver Guan Yu Zhou, who wants to become the first Chinese competitor to start a Formula One Grand Prix. If you have a Formula One driver in in like a Chinese Formula One driver, that means a lot to the Chinese history of motorsports that definitely will help get more people to know about motorsports. The Formula One group has posted a loss for a second straight year, going 68 million US dollars in the red, nearly double 2017's tally, on the back of increased expenditures as the business continues to invest. F1's loss comes on the back of a good campaign for the brand, which recorded not only a second straight year of TV and digital growth, up to 490 million unique viewers across the season, but also a 44 million US dollar spike in revenue for a $1.83 billion total, despite a flat broadcast market and the exit of the Malaysian Grand Prix. F1 chairman and CEO Chase Carey says the sport is in a strong position moving forward, though, having long championed the importance of the business's transformation. One, it needs an organization to execute in a, in a world that's so fast-changing and so multidimensional today. Um, it is a more complicated world, more competitive world, um, and really it was a one-man show in the past. Yep. And I just don't think a one-man show can pursue and develop the opportunities Formula One is set to switch to a standard seven-speed gearbox from 2021 in a bid to reduce costs, with a four-year supply contract put out to tender by the sport's governing body, the FIA. The shift to standard gearboxes, with four allocated per driver per season and two for testing, making 10 per team, is predicated on a cost reduction and would be a massive shift in F1's ethos, with such a major component being made standard. 
despite the fact teams can already purchase them from rivals, such as Racing Point, which uses the entire Mercedes powertrain. British transmission specialist x track which supplies control gearboxes for IndyCar and supercars, have said it's likely they will tender an application. The FIA has set a deadline of March 15. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.